What's up guys, we want you another video. We just made it down here to Orange County guys. We're in the G80 once again, <laughs> putting miles on the G80. And we are here at Beamer Plug guys, Beamer Plug's warehouse. We were here last time when we installed all the carbon fiber pieces with the front end, the grill, the lip, the vents. Oh my God. Kevin's private jet. <laughs> Rich. Last time we were here, we installed all the carbon fiber up front. We did all this, the grills, the little vents right here, the big lip, also the yellow DRLs, all from Beamer Plug and the mirror caps. And today we are back because we're about to install another mod on the G80. Every single day, new day, new mod, guys. <laughs> Yesterday we installed the steering wheel. The steering wheel is so freaking nice. I've been having so much fun driving it. And today we got another special mod, which I'm so excited for. Look at that G80 brake dust, guys. It's so freaking bad. I swear, I don't think, I thought my GTR was bad, but I think the G80 is worse. This is horrible. <laughs> the wheels are literally brown. <laughs> I swear you can't keep them clean, guys. It's impossible. I need to change the brake pads. My boy Kicks told me that you can do upgraded brake pads. They're like 700 bucks, and there's supposed to be no brake dust at all. So I definitely gotta buy those and invest in those, because this is horrible. It's even turning the tires brown, bro. Like, how do you get brake dust on the tire? Like, oh my God. It's so bad. All right here we got my boy Kevin's car. He's the owner of Beamer Plug. Look at the intakes in his. They're red and damn, it looks nice. What do you guys like, the red intake showing or the black intakes? So you can barely see them in the shade. They're very stealthy. You can only tell if you look up close, but the red stand out so much. Should we swap to some red filters? Yes or no? I like it because it's low key. You can't really tell that it has front mount intakes, but these ones like stand out like crazy. They actually look good. I'm just scared of cops. <laughs> like always, us in California, bro, we're always scared and looking around everywhere we drive with cops. But yeah, Kevin also got the freaking carbon hood. I wanna do this hood so bad, guys, the full exposed carbon hood. Kevin, Kevin said I should get this hood and leave the vents exposed carbon, but paint the rest of the hood uh, Brooklyn gray like that. But I think I would do the whole carbon hood just to change it up, uh, like do a big difference, you know? You got the work meisters on there, all the carbon everywhere, the side skirts, which is a hint for today. And then you got the laser tail lights, which looks freaking crazy. Should we do some tail lights on mine too or keep it OEM? I tend to like like the more simpler look, but it would be a huge difference too to change the tail lights. They have like a couple options you could choose from. But yeah, his G80 looks sick. We need wheels, bro. Once you add wheels to the car, it doesn't look stock anymore. Right now, my car still looks too stock. Even with all the carbon, I still think it's too stock for me. <laughs> got an F82 M4 here. Super nice. I swear the F80s will never age. They look so freaking good. Another one of Kevin's jets. His second one. <laughs> Watching the other M4 over here. What is that, 240i? Something like that, I don't know. I look, you gotta get my wheels washed. <laughs> Can you just wash my wheels, please? <laughs> yeah, we made it. Sheesh. You guys got new flooring? Yes, sir. Bro, it looks so nice. Oh my God, look at all the orders, bro. That's all that needs to go out? Dude, that is freaking ridiculous, dude. Look at those. Sick. Yeah, this shop is crazy. Look how much stuff they have in stock. <laughs> Damn. David's wheels are no. He's slacking, huh? He's lagging, bro. I told him, bro. That's not me, bro. <laughs> he's... I told him when he's ready, bro. Come on. I know. David wants to buy these wheels for his car, but these on the... My F80 would have looked crazy, bro. This car is so you clean. Know what, what are you going to get next if you sell the wheels? You don't know? Oh, I know. BBS's? I can't, I can't yeah, this car is sick. Look how dirty the wheels are. I think we are gonna get it washed, maybe. It definitely needs a wash. <laughs> Quiet M3 or not? <laughs> Loud, huh? How are you? <laughs> How are you? Good. good. Nice Sounds to see you. All right, we got the car in the air, and look at <laughs> no side skirts on the car because we're about to ask some new ones. I haven't showed you guys on the vlog yet because I, I was kind of just hiding it, and maybe some of you guys might have noticed. But look how bent this one is. First of all, look at this, and I did not do this. I bought the car like this, unfortunately. But this is the only flaw that was on the car, and I wasn't not gonna buy the car because of this flaw. Everything else is perfect on the car, but this. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if the previous owner did this. I don't know what happened, but yeah, look, it's cracked. And all this is like warped, bro. It actually looks pretty bad. <laughs> and now you guys can probably see it when I point it out. See, that's how it's supposed to look, just flat. This is all warped. 
It looked pretty bad, huh? Bro, I thought, I thought it was the style of it, bro. I <laughs> that's didn't even notice it. Dude, I, that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of people probably didn't notice, but it's actually really bad. And I tried not showing this side a lot, and I tried not showing up close, but yeah, now you guys know. It's pretty bad, bro. <laughs> it was bad, dude. But now we're about to replace it with some carbon fiber ones, guys, and it's going to look so much better. It's going to pretty much complete the whole carbon fiber kit on the car, I guess. Much needed, bro. And it won't be bent like that. <laughs> You know what I think they did? They probably parked next to a curb, I bet, huh? And you know how, like, you take a corner too tight? I've done it before on my GTR, actually, and I scraped my side skirt the same way. And I've seen plenty of people do it, too. I've even seen a video of, like, an SVJ doing it. Have you seen that? SVJ? Yeah, like, they cut a corner too tight when they're parked next to the curb. That's probably what they did. Already got one opened. It's literally like the OEM style, but carbon fiber, which is super clean. There's actually two different styles. There's one with like a little winglet on it, but I don't know if I like that style for some reason. I like very simple things. Literally a replacement of the OEM style, but now it's carbon. The side shirts are crazy. Sheesh. Way better. Now we got the lip, the side skirt, the diffuser. Everything's carbon on the car now. There's nothing else. I don't think there's anything else that we need. But that shit is loud, it huh? It's loud. Quiet, G. Quiet in three. Yeah. That shit is loud, though, honestly. <laughs> Sounds good. We're gonna get it all washed now. Make the wheels all clean because you guys saw the freaking brake dust. But guys, I love it. The freaking side skirts look amazing, bro. So like I said, it's like the OEM style replacement. So as you guys can see, it's literally like the OEM style. It doesn't have the winglet. I'll show you the winglet right now. There's two options, maybe more, but I know there's two different styles that I was trying to pick between. Kevin actually has the wing design on his M4. I'll show you right now, but this is the OEM style. So it's literally exactly like OEM, just carbon fiber now. And it, I love it. It honestly looks super good. All I need is those little side things right there, carbon. And we'll be good. Looks way better. Everything feels looks more complete. It looks like a carbon fiber kit now. Yeah, it does. Sick. Like I said before in the vlogs, if you need anything BMW related, Beamer plug, they are the Beamer plug. This is their new warehouse. They're actually doing installs in-house now as well. So not only can you buy stuff from their website online, which I'll leave a link down below, but you can also come and get it installed in-house here in Irvine, California. So super nice shop. They just redid all the flooring and stuff, as you guys can see, the lighting, the shop's super nice. But Beamer plug is linked down below if you guys need anything BMW related, carbon fiber, steering wheels, everything you want. And use code FINDINGNICK at checkout and it will give you guys a little discount as well. So got that for you guys. And like I said, if you need anything installed, they can also do it for you too. But yeah, new mod every single day, bro. I swear. <laughs> the car is coming together so fast. I think yesterday was actually one month on the dot of when I brought the G80. So it's already been one month, guys. Time honestly flies, bro. It doesn't even feel like I've had this car for a month. Next up, it has to be the wheels. I gotta change the wheels up. Actually, I think this week we are gonna put wheels on it. I just gotta get the tires tomorrow morning. I'll show you guys the wheels that we're gonna go with. And then we gotta pick a wrap color because I am gonna change the color. As much as I love this freaking paint color, I gotta change it up just to be a little different because right now there's a lot of these colors on the street and I'm not trying to look like regular traffic, bro. A homie pulled up in the crazy G80 years. I've seen this on my vlog before. So freaking clean. Got the roll cage, the BBSs. I told him to sell me the wheels, but, but he said he's not ready yet. <laughs> They're freaking beautiful, bro. All chrome. Super freaking nice, bro. I love the cage in there in the interior. And he got the buckets, bro. You guys like the color? My E92 was almost like this, dude. It was like the Jerez black. It's kind of like this. It looks black like in the shade, but in the sun, you can really see the blue. It looks sick. This shit's so nice. Too nice, bro. Now you can see the interior. Freaking sick. They both got buckets. He got the orange buckets, and then he got the white buckets. It just looks insane with the roll cage. I gotta do that, cage and buckets. <laughs> all right, the car is all clean now. Super freaking clean. Look at the wheels. Finally, 
the side skirts look amazing, bro. <laughs> I love it because it goes with like the diffuser, and then you go to the side and there's carbon, and then you go to the front and there's carbon. Like it all matches. Everything ties together now, and everything is carbon fiber on the car. We're still waiting on this little emblem, which should be in soon, hopefully. And then we got to do these next too, all carbon fiber with the black emblem. We got to change those out. We got my boy Jake's car here. This thing is fire, bro, with the chrome TEs. Sheesh, like my GTR, twin. But we gotta um, shoot the GTR and this together before you get rid of the wheels. <laughs> Damn, that'd be so fire. Honestly, his car was like the inspiration, I'm not gonna lie. And I photoshopped his wheels onto my GTR before I bought them. Well, before I did the chrome on mine. So I literally took his wheels, photoshopped them out, put them on my GTR just to get an idea before I did it. Yeah, let's get it, guys. We're gonna have a little photo shoot. Take pictures of the new carbon fiber side skirts and the car's all clean right now so it's perfect for photos. It's just nice though. Damn bro. All over Kevin. Big time. Come on bro. You? you guys got GAX. <laughs> this is all over me. Yeah this sure. is all over Kevin, all over me. <laughs> They're freaking fire bro. I need wheels dude. I'm on stock wheels. I'm running like Kevin out here. Stock wheels are the best. No they're not bro. No? I, don't, I don't know how you run. I cannot wait to get my wheels off. Huh? Right here? Nah. I'm scared, bro. <laughs> Might get pulled over. I know, 100%. Mind that loud? Yeah. No way is that loud. Really? Oh, that was stupid loud. There's no way mine's that loud. It is. Bro, his intakes are hella loud. I just can't hear it from the inside, bro. From the outside, I'm telling you. What's up, Kevin? How are you shifting and filming at the same time, bro? I'm driving manual and vlogging. People ask me, how the fuck do you do What do you think, you're Vin Diesel over here? What the fuck? Still be at Beamer plug. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> that shit's slow, bro. Back on the freeway. How do we lose an M4? That's crazy. Bro, how are you doing both at the same time? It's so hard to drive and shit. And vlog.
Come on, bro. <laughs> All right, we're having a little photo shoot now. The G80 is up there. Hopefully the e-brake doesn't fail because that shit will just roll down. <laughs> it's these cars, bro, because it's manual. But look, he got the windows down. Now you can really see the interior. I'm gonna get that little piece. I think my homie Brian's actually gonna hook it up with that. So shout out to my boy Brian. I'll show you that when we get there. But yeah, my boy's G80 is beautiful, guys. White buckets with the white roll cage, the fire extinguisher in there. Damn, look how crazy that is. So this is what I was talking about in one of the last videos. I mentioned, should I get a roll cage? A lot of people actually told me not to, but I like it, bro. I had a roll cage in my E92 and that wasn't a coupe. This isn't a sedan. I think it looks pretty crazy with the windows down in a four door. Cause you're like, what? There's a roll cage in here. Kind of pointless cause you can't use the back seats anymore. So pretty much got a coupe now. <laughs> but another thing is you can't even have the seats up. On my E92, I had a cage and you could still sit back there. It's just very hard to get back there. But this, they made it where it's like, you can't even put the seats up anymore. You have to either seat delete it or fold them down like this. Cause it actually goes all the way to the back of the trunk and bolts in the trunk, which is pretty crazy. So I don't know, that's some real commitment. You gotta really get rid of your back seats. And I don't know, should I do it or not? It looks pretty cool though. Look, you can see it all through the window tint too. Damn, it looks crazy, honestly. <laughs> this is an insane roll cage, bro. Also, these are like my dream wheels, bro. I wanna build a set of BBSs so bad. I always wanted a set of BBSs, even on my E92, years, years, years ago, but never did it. Maybe on the G80, I might have to invest in it. Very expensive wheels, but look how beautiful they are. And everyone knows what BBSs are. Bro, the car looks so much better. It looks completely different than when I first bought the car. <laughs> We've done so much. Let's finish up the photos real quick, and then head back to LA, long drive. All right guys, it's the next day now. I'm gonna just continue to vlog because I don't think I've vlogged enough. I've been trying to post longer videos if you guys can tell. I've also been trying to talk more in the videos if you guys can tell. <laughs> just trying to make better content for you guys, more content for you guys. And I'm sure you guys have seen, it's like 20, even 30 minute vlogs, even 40 minutes I think. But anyways, today's a new day. We're here at the tire shop, at a tire warehouse actually. My boy Tire Bullies, I'll leave a link right here. He got me tires last time for the these stock wheels and now he's getting me new tires for the new wheels that are coming tomorrow guys. So stay tuned tomorrow vlog we should have the new wheels on the g80 and i'm excited to show you guys and i'm excited to see how it's gonna look finally gonna get rid of the stock wheels i love the stock wheels they look good don't get me wrong but the fact that everybody has them and everyone's running on them i want to get rid of them <laughs> i want to be different i want to stand out there's actually a g80 right there i'll show you guys when i leave there's a black one with the same exact wheels bro like everyone rocks the stock wheels again they look good but I want to stand out. I want people to be able to notice that, oh, that's Nick's car as soon as I pull up, you know? And not like, is it Nick's car? I don't know. It could be another G80, the same color, same wheels. So that's why we're going to change up the wheels, guys. Let's go grab these tires real quick. I hope they all fit in here. I'm pretty sure they will. And then we're going to go back to my parents' house and ship the rest of this merch, guys, because I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of DMs. You guys even messaged like Kevin and Hugo. Can you let Nick know that my, I haven't got my order? Guys, again, I'm so sorry for everyone that hasn't got their order yet. But I promise tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, they are getting shipped out. So as you guys are watching this, it's already been shipped out. It's just a lot of orders, guys, and we're almost caught up all of them. I'm pretty sure I've sent out a couple hundred packages already. So I'm trying my best, guys. We've gotten so many orders. Like Again, this was my biggest merch drop, and I'm super thankful for it. And I'm sorry that it's been such a long delay. It's only been like two weeks. I know it's still a long time, but only two weeks. And I'm sorry for that delay, guys. It's a good problem to have, but <laughs> I need to step it up. I got to hire some more homies or something to help me. So let's pick up these tires and start shipping all the merch for you guys. Tomorrow morning, everything should be out. I promise, guys, doing this all by myself. I could, like, take the next level and, like, getting a warehouse or having somebody, like, a company ship it all for me. But I like that it's very, like, personal. And it's me shipping out all the merch, me selling it, shipping it, photo shooting it. Like, me doing everything A to Z. I know eventually I'm going to have to level up and, like, have someone help me, maybe hire a couple employees. But for now, it's just me. It's just my girlfriend. It's just my homies, Hugo, David, and even my mom helping me to ship stuff out. So thank you guys for being patient. I appreciate it. And thank you for making, like, this dream come true of having a clothing brand. And thank you for just supporting the clothing brand and my dreams, bro. So thank you guys. Whew. All right, guys. We caught them in the car. I don't know how they fit, but they fit. 305s. Let me see. 285, 35, 19. And then this one... This big boy right here, 305, 35, 19. This is a big tire. <laughs> Whew, I'm out of breath, bro. God damn. Anyways, guys, those tires are for the G80. We are going down to 19s now. So stock wheels are actually 20s in the back, 19s in the front. I don't know why BMW does that. Maybe there's some science behind it. <laughs> Anyways, now we're going to 19s all around. We'll see how it drives after that. On this wheel setup, I want it to look meaty, guys. I almost went, these are the Nitto 
555s, 5G2s. I was gonna do the Nitto 555R2s or something like that. Those are like the drag radios. And I was gonna do it because I like the look of a drag radio, like the fat sidewall. But I know they're not gonna last that long and these will last a lot longer. And I wanna drift the car and have fun sometimes, so I don't know if the drag radio will be good for that. So I just went with these. These are like the all summer sport tires. I don't know. Anyways, again, shout out to my boy David at Tire Bullies. If you guys need any tires, he is the tire plug, I promise. Also, look at the G80 that's here. Remember I told you? <laughs> told you, same stock wheels, bro, but today will be the last day with stock wheels and the hella brake dust. <laughs> bro, these cars have so much brake dust, bro. It's ridiculous. <laughs> We shipped all of the merch. Pretty much all of the merch is shipped out. A lot of orders. And now we met up with Hugo. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Alex. Yes, sir. Alex got the Mustang down here. Is it, is it still a Mustang or is it Shelby? I know. Is it considered a Mustang still? Yeah. It's still a Mustang. <laughs> yeah, under that, under that, uh. The little snake? Under that, yeah. Mustang. <laughs> the Fresno boys. Damn. <laughs> Alex, you might, definitely might as well live out here. He's out I know, here. he's always out here. <laughs> Anyways, we shipped out all the merch, guys. Hundreds and hundreds of orders shipped out. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Hugo for helping me. And my mom and dad were helping me, too. We got a lot of this. What the? Oh, yeah, your orders are messed up for sure. <laughs> your orders are for sure all messed up. Who <laughs> we got those twink oh orders? Oh, my God, dude. All the orders are out, guys. I think there's only like 30 more left that I got to ship out. But those guys accidentally put the wrong address or something like that. So make sure you guys put the right address, guys, when you buy the merch. Then it gets delayed, and then I have to message you guys and figure out you guys' address and all that good stuff. But majority of orders are out. So check your tracking numbers, check your emails. Every order should be out tomorrow morning, guys. Yo, the car looks purple from here? I know, it really does look purple. Watch. He just It looks gray on my camera, what the heck? It looks great. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, shoot, that shit green. <laughs> Damn, that's actually crazy, bro. That is sick. This is Alex's Shelby. I don't even think I've showed it on the vlog, but GT350. Is it a Shelby? I don't know anything about Shelby. Mustangs. I'm not going to lie. It's blown. For real? Nah. <laughs> He's doing some work right now, guys, but it looks sick. The new wrap is crazy. He just wrapped it. I literally just saw it last week, a different color. Yep. All gray. <laughs> I don't know anything about Mustangs at all, guys. So I can't even speak on it. I don't even know what it is, but it's sick what's funny is we're actually here at the homie drake built shop i've never been here before which is crazy and his shop is actually super close too i've just never been here before but i guess alex is getting some work done from the homie drake built i tried calling him but he's not answering <laughs> i was gonna show him um, that i'm at his shop we literally have the tires in the back seat still <laughs> they're just rolling around bro i hope they don't mess up the back of my seats but yeah i can't wait for tomorrow you should drift this right here <laughs> i know because i'm letting alex right, drive it perfect his first time driving g80 I'm gonna convert. <laughs> We're trying to convince him. He's gonna do a shit this week. That's just loud, bro. <laughs> Damn. It's not bad. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> I like it. It's like super, super like agile. Like, yeah. It just handles good. Oh my god. <laughs> It's smooth, I love yeah. it. If you like rev it out, you'll hear the intakes more too. <laughs> the box is so loud. That's cool. Yeah, you can kind of hear them. I Damn. feel like on the inside, you can't really hear the intakes, but from the outside, it's super loud. Yeah, it is hella loud. When I heard you take off, yeah. You can hear it. I literally can't wait to tune it. It's gonna be so much faster. Man, I already got used to it. Like, it's slow to me. Bro, these things gap everything. I know. Like, Why'd you tune it? It's wraps. It's like a cheat code. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's OP. Hi. What's cracking, man? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you with Alex? <laughs> what up? You went with Alex to get the car? I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drown my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 20.